That's awesome. Though, because Just to be clear, he's the Old Spice guy. Okay. Okay, I'm glad we cleared that up. Sorry, okay. oh. oh, then I meant but you last year. But do you smell good? At least? But yes. Do you smell good? Okay. Well, he gave me a lot of product, so I'm, uh, I really uh, smell beautiful. That's all that's important. We yeah. really appreciate you smelling nice here. <laughs> it is the third day. How are you liking everything so far? Are you yes. overwhelmed? Are you loving the panel? Or oh, no, no. I've, I've always been a, a goer, a attendee, you know, so and I've, I've only took my daughter, daughter to Comic-Con in San Diego. But I've never been on this side of it, so I, I've always been wondering what it was like, and now I'm, I'm still like, well, what's next? I mean, it's like so crazy. The panel hall was, blew my mind. I mean, I, I, was, I didn't talk for, um, purposely because I was thinking, like, wow, what's going on? I want to take it all in, you know? It was just so amazing to see it. You also dressed up at a Comic Con. I think we should. Re <laughs> I think we should reveal it. I did. I, oh, I, yes. I was a uh, cosplay one time. I, I was cloaked from cloak and dagger, but underneath that, I was Luke Cage. That's so awesome. I, I doubled yeah. up on one day. So do you work out at all for the show? <laughs> uh, you know, I do some push-ups here and there. Because we can't tell with the jacket on. Yeah, push-ups push -ups and sit-ups, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, do, I do a little bit. All right. We can assure the fans that when you are fighting demons and things like that, sometimes shirts get ripped. That's mm. what we can assure the fans. Ah. So is that one of the things that you, you feel that the fans are going to be really excited about? Uh, to see our cast with their shirts on? Uh, yes, they will be excited about it. What are some other things you feel like the fans will be excited about? I think that we uh, have some surprises in store. We're hoping that the really passionate fans will say, hey, wait a minute, that wasn't in the books. Mm. Oh, wait, oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> That's what we're sort of hoping. And um, we didn't want to do exactly one-to-one -one what's already been done, say, in the movie, so we uh, did a clean slate and started with our mm. own thing. But I also think that they're going to be really happy about the fact that we deliver many, many, many of the most important moments mm. and really stay true to who the characters are from the books. <laughs> Were you a fan of the books signing on? Or? You know, I have a 14 year old and she was a fan. Um, so she kind of she kind of hit me on what was going on when I got cast. And then at that point, I was obligated because not only because I was in a show, but because I had to stay true to her. So I had to read the. Like, I'm I'm finished with three and I'm starting four. Um, it's taken me a long time to get through three, but I'm finally there now. So now I can start. I teach tenth grade, so oh, I'm here. Oh, so you know you know what's going on. <laughs> That's a really good question. We are not following the books one-to-one uh, -one with the seasons. For instance, book two takes place in like five, six days. So it would be very tough to do a whole season on five, six days. So, however, uh, we what we're doing is we're borrowing. We, we may set something up that we know is going to happen in season six, but start setting it up now. So we... We borrow from all the books and we'll be tracking along with the major giant story points that fans want to see. And then the new viewers, we very carefully get there so that they understand what's going on. They don't have to be uh, a super fan in order to enjoy the show. Are you hoping that this is going to be something that everyone can sit down together and watch at home? Or are you targeting certain... Not only am I hoping that... Uh, yeah, everyone's hoping that. Yeah, ABC Family Freeform is really uh, hoping that because they, they want it to be... Uh, have a, a broader audience um, than, than just uh, the... Uh, you, you know, like sort of teen demographic, they want this to be a more broad audience show, and that's what they asked us to do. And that's why we made it a little bit more adult than it was in the books. What was the hardest part about transforming it from the books to the screen? The hardest part is there's a passionate fan base who expects mm -hmm. certain things. Like, for instance, in the books, it doesn't say whether Luke Garraway is a, uh, what his race is. It doesn't say. So it describes him, but it doesn't really say specifically. And then, so this is one of the surprises that we have for the for the books. They may have been picturing him a certain way, and that's the other thing. When anytime you do an adaptation, whether it's Harry Potter or any of the great adaptations, they're picturing every single person is running a movie in their head, and it can't possibly meet up to everybody's movie. So that those are some of the types of surprises. 
right, because it was just in the newspaper about Hermione and, you know, what race was she? Did anyone know before the movie came out or what did they think? So that's a good point. Right. Um, on the panel, they were saying a lot about how you were like, kind of a paternal figure on set. Um, can you talk a little bit about your experiences with the cast, um, how you guys have bonded? Um, we bonded just from the minute we met each other. We all made sure that whenever, when each new cast member came into town, we all went out to dinner. We got that person and we would go out to dinner. So some people like Kat and Dom were going like you know, seven dinners at a time. But, but uh, like when Harry came, you know, we all wanted to make sure that we, like Harry felt a part of the group. So we all went out to dinner and got to know him and you know, asked him all kinds of questions because since he was on Glee, he was like the elder statesman as far as like series go. We wanted to know, you know, as far as series go, like you know, what are some things we should look out for? What are some things that maybe um, you know you can kind of teach us that we don't already know? And I think just maybe my experience with, um, with the, the brief flash of, of uh, celebrity that I got in, in, in 2010, um, maybe what to expect from kind of this overwhelming you know, fan base kind of like descends upon me. Um, some, like they ask me some questions about that every now and then. And I, I honestly think this is going to be something that I've never seen before because the, the, the social media following uh, is, is outrageous. I, I've never seen anything like this. It's so crazy. I, I, I post, or the minute I was cast, my, my Twitter just like, jumped up 20,000 know, followers. It was, it was out of control. I mean, just it literally within minutes, it was like, it was crazy. I never saw that. And, and he was the old Spice Kid. Right? <laughs> right. right. I had we some hope followers, this, but I didn't know I had After the show blows up, you'll still talk to us next year. <laughs> oh. Is there anything funny that happened on set or a prank? We heard about some things earlier. single day. You gotta watch out for Dom. Dom will tape your door shut up your your uh, your trailer. Um, he's always trying to do something, uh, but but I, I I don't think I played any pranks on anyone. Um, and I think Harry and Matt kept it kind of kind of calm. But, but Dom and Alberto, I mean, to see those guys like I mean they they play like real brothers. You know what I mean? Like and they never get mad at each other, but they're they're rough and tough with each other. They love it. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you very much.